Hello everyone and welcome back to Elden Ring. This is episode 31. Last time we did some backtracking through some previous areas and discovered some cool things. It was actually rewarding with some of the locations that we visited, which was awesome. And then we went, hell yeah, let's go back to Volcano Manor because that'll be fun. And then we're in hell. <laughs> uh, we are in some sort of some sort of situation um some sort of situation we have uh yeah like we really just ended up here uh and we're rolling with it so we'll have to see how we go today as we proceed to navigate hell now i got to this grace point and I got to this grace point uh, last time, and I said, "Okay, that's it for me. I'm gonna, I'm taking a break." And we're we're now, we're we're now after that beautiful break, coming right back in for a bit of fun. Um, we got the man serpent shield, a bit of fun, which would be great. You know what would have been great in hindsight now if we leveled up the that, instead of using one of these curved swords, we did the serpent gods one. And we're just carving up these snakes with a serpent god sword. And then while we're at it, we're also rocking the the coil shield with a snake in it too. Small copper dome-shaped round shield carried by the man serpents of Mount Gelmir. Said to have been tempered in lava, it boasts great resistance to fire. Nice. That is, yeah, that's, that's fire resistance shield. Nice. Oh, being attacked by the thing in the other room because I can hear it yelling at us. We have... Oh, is it, it is out, outside? It's outside. Okay. Nurse, he's out again. Uh, we have multiple pathways to take right now because uh, just everywhere that we turn is just fucking chaos, dude. So... We, this is the room that we're in. I'm just kind of... I'm just trying to path my way back out from where we were because I think, you know, we kind of... kind of beelined for a grace point. And then, oh, almost ran off the cliff. And then just was like, all right, I'm done. Okay. We're going to need, okay. We're going to need fire resistance. Um, let's put that flame drake talisman on. Let's put that flame drake talisman on. It's a plus two. It's pretty decent. Okay, good thing. Oh, fuck it. Oh, well, this is, you know, you know what's, you know what's funny? You know what's funny is like, you know, last episode when we were backtracking and we encountered the fire slugs on the random grass and I was like, huh, where do these fucking things even come from? You know, that's what I was thinking. Where do these fucking things come from? Where do they exist? How are they here? Just randomly not creating bushfires, you know, in the Limgrave region. We've, we've got our answer. They are spawned from the fiery lava pits of the Volcano Manor. We just have to accept that. Now we're just going to run up this steep hill because we can, because we've got incredible calf strength. We'll get a bit of a lay of the land here from above. Let's have a look. Kill everybody and anything that we see because there's nothing nice about this place. Um, God, that's unfortunate. This poor soul dying right here. That dude hanging off the end of that roof. Weathered straight sword, lovely. God. Yeah, this is this is a bit of a location. This is a bit of a spot, you know. I can't believe what we are doing. We're, we're like willingly going through this area too, like you know, like the scattered. Oh god, scattered remains of iron virgins as well. Oh man, we really just walked right into that one, didn't we? Another thing I'm trying to get into doing more is using uh, spells. So we've got our Flask of Cerulean Tears that we've done. Why can't I do... Oh, I can't do Night Comet or Shadow and Crystal anymore because my intelligence stuff ran off. Because I'm not wielding the... What's our intelligence currently at? 35. Because I took off the... Hmm... But if we put it back to 40, yeah, even though they're not like, you know, 
insanely powerful. It does some, does some damage. Yeah. Oh, what is that? Excuse me, what the fuck is that? That's a weapon? Holy shit. I'm just practicing with spells again, because last time I was practicing with spells against an Iron Virgin. And they've got good damage resistance. Yeah, okay. Whoa, look at that thing. Holy shit. This Moonblade is cool, I like this. Wow, wow, whoa, that's a wind-up attack and a half. How many wind-up attacks was there just then? That's got some reach on it, too. Nice, I really like that. I like a jeweler's moon blade. Shit's great. Um, I want that weapon. Like, I'm, I'm rocking whip weapons. I want to mess with that. I have to get used to switching to a new flask now, because we're late into the game where we should have, like, the habit of being able to switch between those flasks, but we just... I haven't been rocking the cerulean one for my spells. So, I look at it, I glance it down at the bottom, and my brain sort of clears that as, yep, I've got the flask on, and then I try and heal my health, and it doesn't work. Because it's the, it's the wrong one. So it's a bit of a, a bit of a conundrum that I uh, find myself dealing with in terms of adjusting to a flask that was given us at the beginning of the game. We've got a couple of lifts. We've got two of them. Are they going up or down, though? I'm assuming one goes down. This one looks like it goes up. Is this like a nice little lift shortcut from up above? We'll just activate this bad boy. Right, let's activate a couple of lifts. Is there a way to bring the lift up if it's not down here, potentially? Like, summon it, I don't know. Whoa, hello, big boy. <laughs> Look at that fucking thing. Whoa. Um... Hello? I think I've stumbled into the wrong... Oh, I think I've stumbled into the wrong place! Oh, yeah, you would just... Okay. Okay. I had a... I had a, a plan of attack. Oh, you've got Black Flame, too, do you? You just have that. That's good. Good to know. You've just got that one. Yeah, you don't... You don't like my... My Nebula skills, do you? My cool blades! Damn. Damn. Okay, so this is one direction that we've chosen. Well, we took a lift up, but we can still take another lift, assumedly, downwards, further into hell. So yeah, that's just this is what we're dealing with. We've you know unexpectedly found that you know we found that back room that Rai was talking about. <laughs> She led us right in here and said, Hell yeah, dude. Go check this shit out. What the fuck? Dude. What the fuck? Just in case. Just in case. <laughs> Bruh. Oh! Not another god skin, dude! I should have known! Not another one! I'm not prepared for this! Oh, that was a bit of a thrust. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm drinking. Ow! Ooh! I'm thirsty. Alright, hold on, hold on. I've got a I've got a sword too. Oh shit. Moonblade. You wanna go long range, huh? Oh my god, he fucking hits hard, man. Oh, I don't have enough. Ah! I don't have enough FP for Loretta's great bow. That's what I was waiting on. Oh, you know what I want to try? 
I want to try Eternal Darkness when he th tries to throw a black flame at me. I thought that was going to hit the column. That's why I didn't activate it that time. When he throws a black flame, I want to do Eternal Darkness and see if it works. Oh, never mind. I uh, accidentally did it too early. I don't think it worked. Alright. Enough fucking around! Enough fucking around, Godskin! Oh, what are you doing? Oh! <laughs> ah! Fucking hell, dude! What the fuck? Oh no! AoE fucking flame! What the fuck? Dead. We're in trouble! We're in trouble! <laughs> We're in trouble! Oh, not the god skin. Not the god skin noble. With the snake tail and everything. Man was... Man's got a bit, bit snaky with it. Oh, okay. I spent too much time fucking around in that fight. Oh, we're all, all the way back here. Uh, which way did we go to get to him? This way, right? Down the ladder? Yeah. Alright, I spent too much time fucking around there. I was like, magic! <laughs> See, magic's cool and all, but I'm fucking not used to... Not used to doing it. You know? Not used to doing it. Let me quickly grab this, because I should have grabbed this last time. Golden rune. Ow. Before we go up to the Godskin Noble, can I jump up? Yeah. Just taking a just taking a look. I reckon I can make this jump. I don't think I can jump that high. Yeah. Oh I can! Ooh. I can jump that high. Oh that just takes me around there. There's more shit over there, too. I reckon I can just book it. Go. 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 Ah, uh, okay. It doesn't... Okay. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> it doesn't do much damage. You'd think... Like, do you guys... You guys remember Dark Souls 1 lava, right? Shit put, like, quite literally fire under your ass. Like, you had to move. Ugh. Okay, we got jars. Always have to lock on first just to check real quick if it's an in if it's Alexander or if it's an enemy jar. Um, yeah, Dark Souls One Lava. You just watch your health disappear. I mean, I know that we have a like the talisman on, but uh, we we don't even have the talisman on. We don't even have the talisman on. You don't even need it. You can just like slowly w stroll through lava in this game. It's weird, dude. I'm, I was landing on top of you. Living jar shard. Yeah, you can just walk on. I don't even need to, like. Oh, ah! I did not realize that they were explosive. Rest in peace to whatever runes that were sitting in the Godskin Noble's boss room. I was not expecting to die. That is a shame. <laughs> that one's unfortunate. That's a bit silly. We'll see lo how long... We'll see how long I can be bothered to, um... You know, commit to... Having... any um, Cerulean flasks with my FP. We'll see how long I can be bothered doing magic, you know? It's fun. But I feel like I need more more health. And I like spending... I like keeping the FP for the actual... Uh, my weapon ab abilities as well, like my skills. Alright, so you you guys are explosive. So uh, that's good to know. These two. Okay, keep an eye out for ones with different colored lids. They'll, they'll fuck you up. They'll fuck you up. Lesson, lesson learned. I'm not going to mess with those ones again. Uh, 
Uh, we got the the graves. Well, oh, actually, we can run up there. Hold on. We can go up here. I love having a dedicated jump button in this game. It's so cool for traversal. Well, now I'm just going in a completely different direction, huh? We'll go back to that Godskid Noble fight. Don't, don't you worry. Just need to take a look around first. Real quick. Because I think this is how we get to that random item that's on, like, a staircase. Yeah. Oh, shit. And it's also... Oh, I almost died! Fucking hell, dude. Can you just... Don't do that. Gotta watch out for that. Check your corners, dude. Check your left and right, so right. Let's uh, start that one again. Fuck, should have just got that item and then walked in there. Okay. So, Vol Volcano Manor is fun. <laughs> oh. Oh, God. Let's just briskly stroll through molten lava. Let's just coat ourselves in it. Just take do some somersaults. It almost feels like the it's wrong. It feels like I should be having my health just completely burned away. I'm I it, it feels nice. It feels it feels warm in the winter, you know, just warming my feet up very casually. Yeah, that, that Dark Souls 1, 2, lava, you know, that's the, that's the real shit. This is lava for babies. This is easy mode lava. Alright, let's get this item, first of all. Let me just go down here. Oh, wait a minute. Hold it. Hang on. That's not as easy as I thought. Okay, I think I have to... Okay. I got a, I got a sprint jump? Okay. No! Okay. That was depressing. <laughs> okay, that was fucking okay. Great. Was there a better way? <laughs> was there a better way to do that than the way that I did it? I would, I dare say yes. I really thought that sprint jump was going to be it. And I just missed it. So maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not that way. So that... That was a fail. Maybe there's a way that I can get up on the on the roof over above it and then jump down from there. We'll... We'll see. Let's have a look. Like, maybe we can get up on the roof. You know, maybe that maybe that would be smarter. You reckon we could make this? Because we can't walk on a ledge. We should be able to make that. It's not a not that much of a jump, is it? Let's put that on hold for now. Let's put that on put it on hold for now. Okay, so. <laughs> He breathes fire too, because because <laughs> of course he breathes fire too. Look at this fucker, great omen killer cleaver. What the fuck? 
Dude, honestly, give me a fucking break, man. Give me a fucking break. <sighs> the blade of this huge loosened cleaver comprises a row of amputated omen horns. Weapon of slaughter wielded by omen killers. The hideous horns cause blood loss, adding vibrant colors to the ongoing mayhem. Oh. Omen killers, like, um, like Margaret, the fell omen. Like horns of omen killers. So there's, there were, is, multiple omens, or used to be, and they were killed by these fucking bad boys. Wild strikes. I was just looking at this, because we've got the ability to have a curved sword and then also a curved great sword. I think, because I think that they're in separate classes though. Yeah, they are. They're in separate classes. Can't dual wield those. Power stance those, I should say. Omen killers. And they got fucking terrifying helmets of flame as well. How do I get up there? Fucking dead. Like... Hey! I'm observing the fucking... <laughs> the hideous conditions that y'all are living in, like... Chill. This is so fucked. I definitely need more health for areas like this. I'm gonna need to reallocate my flasks again for a bit. And then put my cerulean flask back when I feel a little more comfy again, because this is not comfortable. Shit's bad, dude. Terrifying. Okay. How are we supposed to get up there? I think I'm like... Damn. We can get... I feel like we can get all the way up there if we really wanted to. Nothing's gonna fucking jump out at me and surprise me in this room, is it? Erd tree seal. It's a ranged weapon. Guys, look, I actually looked at what category it was. It's a sacred seal. A formless sacred seal decorated with an Erd tree crest, once the focus of religion in the lands between. Even though the Elden Ring is shattered and the Erd tree is dulled from its for former radiance, earnest faith continues to hold the answers. No skill. Okay. No skill. Just checking. Okay, maybe... Yeah, we can definitely... Yeah, we can definitely get up there. The answer is how. Probably by ascending upwards. Further still. Yo. Well, now this area feels familiar. This feels like deja vu. Why does this feel familiar? Oh, hang on. Um, yes, it does feel familiar because we've come from that way before. And then we've gone all the way. Th we've done this. Okay. I totally missed the stairway down. This must be our way across the rooftops then. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. Okay. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, you fucking big hunk of junk. I'm trying to traverse rooftops now that I have a little more of an understanding about where I actually am. Okay. We're now going to go this way. Oh! Oh! This was the... Uh, 
Okay, I know where this is. Was he just call? He was just calling out to his snake friends. That. Yep. That's a thing. Watch out for those. Okay, that's so. That, that's where we started. Where that snake was. That dude's just chilling there, lonely on that one. <laughs> Santa Claus down this chimney, let's go! Just gonna grab this real quick, guys. Fucking, I'm gonna get... I'm not gonna bother to cure my poison while I'm here because... Chances are, I'm gonna get poisoned again. This rooftop battle is fucking hell. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, fuck this rooftop battle, dude. I was so close to death and falling off simultaneously. Fuck these poison assholes. Poison assholes. Leave me be, dude. Get me out of this shit. Got that snake freaking out down there, running after me. Okay. Now. We can then drop down to this item that I want, which is there. And then I think that is this area, this rooftop area checked out, I think. Give me this thing, there we go, smithing stone five, wonderful. All right, we've done a nice little loop around, which is great. Love that for me. We've been in there. Mr. Sneaky Boy, over here. We opened this door because we went all the way around. We dropped in. Uh, stop. Oh, it was right in front of me. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> it was right in front of me. I forgot that there was one on the stairs. I thought that I was safe, dude. I thought that I was safe. All right, well, I mean, I was heading back to this. I was heading back to this bonfire. Ah, uh, this. <laughs> I was heading back to this point of grace anyway. So that's fine. That's what I wanted. Because I was, I literally died right around the corner from it. That's why I was running. I died so close to where I was about to get to. God, I hate these fucking no! Oh my god, why are you why were you running away from? Ah! Oh. <laughs> Stop it! Why are you gonna be like this? I've got a date with a godskin noble. I'll take this bad boy out. Yeah. We'll have to figure out that item on that ledge another day, whether it's a sprint jump one or or not. We'll see. Oh, we have a problem though. How do I bring this? See, this is my question: is how do we bring? Oh, never mind. There's a there's a there's a lift. Damn it! I want that weapon. Okay. Is there? Okay. If I stand back a bit. Ah, oh, there's a lift there. We've just activated, obviously, the fact that there's two of them. There'll always be... It's one of these... Right. I should have realized that. It's one of these type of lifts, where there's always a counter lift. So you don't need a lever to pull it down. There will just always be one. That's... That's pretty... 
obvious. That's pretty obvious. Watch there be a fucking magma worm, dude. Watch it be a magma worm. I can feel it. I can feel it. Yep. <laughs> I can feel it! <laughs> Confirmed magma worm, dude. Like, I honestly am just not surprised. Um, also, it's just a standard enemy. It's just a standard enemy. Oh no! Oh no! I just took out all my FP. I didn't realize I had my shit. I didn't realize I had the my staff out. All right, why are you gonna be so strong though? Ah! Okay, you do too much damage, bro. And you, and you, you don't take enough of it. Oh no! Oh god! Oh god! Stop! 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 It's not even a magma worm boss, dude. Oh, stop! Who are you? Give me a sec. I gotta do this shit. I gotta switch weapons to ones that are actual damage dealers, and hopefully this does damage to you. It doesn't really do damage. Oh god, I can't believe I'm not doing any damage. Can you... Oh, this is some gaping dragon bullshit once again. Like, the fact that the legs do damage. Oh, oh, uh, yep. Oh. God, you know, you didn't think that there was maybe already enough lava in this area. You just had to fucking cover the ground in it, too. Shit, man. I, acid reflux. Like, I get it, man. We've all been there, but, like... Take some medication. Oh, I don't even have my... I don't even have my mimic... Available. Hold on. Let me just. Uh, be my friend will be right with you. I just need some help because fucking, I don't even have anything left. Fucking. <laughs> it's fucking Super Saiyan. Give me all. <laughs> give me all of the shit. I'm pulling out all the stops for this fucking guy. Attack! <laughs> there we go. That's what I'm. That's what I'm talking about. Fuck you, magma worm, you piece of shit! I'm gonna get killed. I can't even see. No! I was like, I can't even see. That was he was so close to death. Go, my mimic tear. Oh my god, dude. That was a death. That was a win in my book, guys. Chalk that one up in the victory books, because that was a win. That was a that was a definitive win. All right. <laughs> I love that I fucking just cashed in everything, and it was and he did the fucking bullshit attack. Fuck magma worms, man. All my homies hate magma worms. <laughs> oh, that would have been a perfect opportunity to redo my uh, my whole arrangement with my flasks, and then I forgot. Alright. I'm putting on these swords so I can beat up this magma worm. <sighs> and then um, I'll get back to my regularly scheduled programming, I think. I'm enjoying my curved swords at the moment. Now, let me put that mimic tier back on. I forgot that I'd taken it off. Let me put that back. Now, Let's prepare. Let us prepare ourselves. Yes. Oh, that took some of my health away. I never even realized that. It took my it took my health to summon the mimic to you. Holy shit. Get your ass out of here! 
you stinky fuck. Let's go. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Ow. Where's my mimic? Bruh, what are you doing? What are you what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Can you not cross the lava? No. Alright, I need to bring him over to me. Oh there you go, you crossed the lava pit. You did it, big boy! You just needed to you just needed a push. You just needed a push. Let's go. Hey, get frozen, son. You're done for, sir! You're absolutely done for, you fucking magma worm. I got the dragon heart before he even died. <laughs> he gave up that dragon heart so quickly. He was dead. He was dying. And he was like, oh, there's my heart. Alright. Dragon heart obtained. Nice. Smithing stone seven. Wonderful. We've got all our buffs right now. We, we're rocking with it. <laughs> uh, Alright, where am I? Uh, okay. Let's round the side. <laughs> you, ever, you ever had a slug, like, attempt to jump you? It's quite funny. That is, that is quite humorous, that. Alright, it's God Skin Noble Time. Up we go. We're we're prepped and ready for God Skin Noble. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, this dude's back. Yep. See ya, chump. I'm here to see your boss. There he is. Let's fucking go charge! Ouch. Ouch. Oh no! Okay, what's happening? Nothing is nothing is working how I intended it. I'm already out of fucking juice! Uh, <laughs> ah, no! Oh, I healed as I got hit. Fuck the god skin noble! What the fuck? <laughs> All right, don't charge! Don't charge in! Look at his butthole! What the fuck? Don't don't charge in to battle. Okay, I don't I don't recommend it. So think think it out. You know, plan it. Uh, effectively, I think. Um, that's what you what you should do. All right. All right. I keep forgetting to do this bullshit, so I'm going to remember to do it now. Because I have the I have a pea brain, and I'm now going to change my flasks. Um, just I'm going to do that. I'm going to give myself at least one for a little bit of a replenish because I'm not relying on spells too heavily I'm not using them a lot because they're not my strongest thing in the arsenal but it could be good to at least restore some FP when I'm enjoying a bit of the old transient moonlighting for now fucking godskin noble dude Oh, I knew this was not going to work out in my favor. Oh, okay. I took less damage than I ended up thinking that I would. That's all right. We just got nibbled on a bit. Oh, that was a... He also attacked quicker than I thought he would have as well. Okay. Let me in! Oh. 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 Let's fucking go, Chief! I'm ready for a fight! Are you? I was born ready for this fight! 
get fucking stabbed in the face! God skin noble. You are not worthy to wear the skin of gods! Time to get circumcised! <laughs> Oh no! Fuck you, you piece of shit! God skin stitcher and noble presence. Whoa, hello, excuse me. There's a lift in here. There's a lift in here. Alright. Good shit. We got some stuff. Let's have a look. So we have the first we had the god skin peeler. Now we've got the god skin Stitcher. That's cool. Elegant piercing. It's an elegant piercing sword with a celadon colored blade wielded by Godskin nobles. The nobles possess skill with the sword unmatched by any lowborn. Despite its size, successive attacks from this weapon are swifter than the eye can follow, and it has the impaling thrust, skill that lets piercing armaments overcome enemy shields, build power, then lunge forward for a strong thrust that pierces an enemy's guard. Nice, right, so it's a rapier, essentially. A heavy, thr a heavy thrusting sword. And then we got an Ash of War. That was in relation to <clears throat> some fucking godskin shit. Shit, what was it called? What did it look like? I forgot. It was an Ash of War, right? Now I'm doubting myself. Was it an in incantation? Shit, what did we just pick up? I swear it was an Ash of War. Oh, hang on, no, it was a, it was an incantation. Noble Presence, there it is. Thrust out belly with gusto to unleash repelling shockwave. Once a sign of the God's wrath, this incantation became a trophy of the Noble's God Hunt. Nice, dude. Well, that was fun. Give me my curved swords back, I'm enjoying those. Oh, there was a little side door. Just a little bit, little itty side door. Interesting. Ah. There's some solid ground down the bottom there, but I don't know if that's a death barrier, but it looks like we're taking that lift from above. Interesting. Keep a note of that. We've got a lift here that opened up. We get an item here. Whoop. Serpent's Amnion. Am Amnion. Amin Amnion from a womb that bore unintended offspring. It's a surprise snake baby. Amnion from the mother's womb, which cradled the poor, unwanted offspring of a repellent birthing ritual. It will never dry out, remaining damp indefinitely. Anyone want a baby snake? Damn, dude. That's something. That is most certainly something. Oh man. We've been level 99 for a while. Is it time to finally be level 100? Am I going to put my 100th level into some more FP? I don't know. Intelligence. I'm going to put my intelligence up to 40 so then I can take off the intelligence talisman and then rock with something else for a little bit. I feel like that would be a good idea. Yeah. I feel like that would be a good idea. Okay. Uh, so this lift came down. That looks to be how we can proceed through this place. Let me just take a look around while we're here. Because this is just that dude just chilling. And then if I look over here... 
Look at this fucking thing. Yo, big ass bridge? Big ass chain bridge, dude. Giant ass bridge. All of the oh, dude. Okay. Nice, that cooled down relatively quickly. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, now where... Where is that? That should take us... Does that take us to the to the beginning? I feel like this was just a big shortcut bridge. Uh, there's an item behind that virgin there. There's too many of these fake out corners, man. Too many of these fake out little nooks. I'm over it. Dude. The underneath of the bridge, though. Crazy. What is that? Ooh, what is that? Is that, was that underneath the bridge? That was underneath the bridge. Or like right next to it. What the fuck? Let's go over there. Hang on. D weren't we there? Didn't, didn't we do that? That's the lift area. Over there. That's the magma worm area. Fuck, was it right around the corner? Hang on, we'll have to go down there. There's some shit down there. Oh yeah, yeah, this is the start. This is where it came from. Okay. Um... We will die if we jump from this height, I think, so... Let's do this the smart way. We'll take that lift back down, and then check that shit out by the the bridge that came up. And then, we'll take the lift up in the Godskin Noble's house. Look at this dude. Almost fell. <laughs> Look at this dude. No! You were about to get backstabbed, you fuck. Bonk! Can't believe that he is so you know, perceptive, that he just knew that I was behind him. So rude! Alright. Um... Now. It's around here somewhere, right? Oh, hang on. Oh, actually, I think it's up... Wait a gosh damn minute. Alright, hold on. Where was that area that I was looking for? I, thought was, I was pretty confident I was just going to waltz right over it to it. Uh, this is a dead end. The magma worm cave. Fucking slow lava. Uh, I've made a, uh, hang on, I've made a critical error in my location. Hold on a minute. So the bridge. Uh, how do you... Well, I've been up there. We've done that. But how do you get up there? Because that's too high of a drop, but there's stuff there. Hmm. 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 
thinking. Thinking. How do we... Is there going to be another one of these lifts then? To maybe get down there? There's definitely some shit down there. Hmm. I have to have a look around. All right. Well, in, in that case, I'm going through here. I can hear a scarab as well. We're gonna go through here. Got this lift. Maybe the answers lie ahead and not around here. Only one way to find out. Golden Rune! Okay. So that's where we, we were just over there and then... I'm assuming both doors lead to the same place. Ah, hello, we can jump over here and there, okay. There's more. There's my beacons, I can see my, my <laughs> I can see my beacons through there, through there so easily. Oh, hang on a minute, is this... No, it's not. Scratch that. Alright, uh, we're jumping off the edge. Um... Navigating... The fires of hell. These sluggy boys. Where does this go? Ooh, could this be? Ah, oh, hang on. I feel like no. That's where we've been. There, we've run through that before. That's not a new area. You won't fool me, random drop that'll make me have to go all the way around again. You won't fool me. Dude. <laughs> are we are we doing are we doing this? Are we What are we what are we doing? Are we... Am I going down, or, like, why... Oh, no. <laughs> There's a pathway here. I was, like, almost considering jumping down. I was like, am I am I riding that, that lava waterfall down to the bottom, or what? Far out, man. You gotta have some... You gotta have some strong, like, foundations of your architecture and your building to, like, withstand the, the constant... You know, the the constant lava. Like, there's, there's no simple, there's no easier way or simpler way to put it. Like, this vol this volcano manor is built fucking well, dude. Huh. 
Oh no. Fuck you. You just cancelled my fucking... Holy shit. I am so disappointed. I just cancelled my fucking nebula and then did all of that bullshit. And then my nebula doesn't even do anything. I'm so sick of these enemies, dude. Nah. Yeah, t you don't even take fire damage, do you? Oh my goodness. First enemy. Dude, look at the, the serpent. The serpent angel so sick. Alright, the scarab is there. Oh, through the window. Okay, I see. What is this? Look at that fire. Ow. Dude, can I have a side of grace, please? Can I be gifted with a little bit of grace? There's a, oh, this lift might be that shortcut lift that I was literally just thinking about. Ready? This will take us to the Godskin Noble arena. Yep. <laughs> it is it is that lift. Okay. Godskin Noble? Yep, just checking. Cool. There you go. That's what that lift is for. There's another there's another door there. Aha! Uh -huh. Secret room! Secret room! Secret room! Stone sword key. Yeah, dude. Can I? I don't even think you can see under. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah! Secret room. You cheeky bastard. I love shit like this. Like, the simplicity of, like, when you walk into this place and you're like, just. You, these are the moments where you actually remind yourself that, by the way, these used to be actual real living people that were not, like, crazy and would attack me on site. Like, they got beds here. They have a place of study and learning. They have tools, you know. This was someone's room, you know. In the Mount Gilmere uh, Volcano Manor Hotel, you know. Like, this was someone's place of living. Oh, okay, we're now above that. Okay. Yeah, you fucker! Let's go! It's on the smithing stone. So, there must still be a way for us... Hang on a minute, are you guys bathing? Excuse me, don't let me interrupt the fucking hot springs. Okay. The Volcano Manor hot springs. Yeah, fuck it. Okay. <laughs> don't get out on, on my part, dude. Like... I wasn't looking. So stretchy! Oh my god. Why is it always you? Why is it always you? Wherever we... Dude, there's, there's no... Ah! Danger! 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 Ah! <laughs> Danger! Fuck! Why is it always basilisks, dude? 
Get out of here, okay. Fucking hell. I don't know how I even successfully managed to get out of that, dude. Ah! Vitality damage. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Don't run through the vitality killing mist. And it's all going to be worth it for a dried liver. Damn it. That would have been great. I was, I was really flexed. I was really trying to flex some psychic skills there. There's not a fireproof dried liver, guys. Slumber smithing stone. I'll take that as a reward. I mean... Sure. What else, what else have, I, have we got? <laughs> Alright. Now I need to... Um... I'm going back the long way. I don't necessarily know why. Just in case I can't go up the standard way with the lift, because obviously we went through that door. I went this way because I because I can. All right, let's try the let's try check out our surroundings again now. Um, we can go down there for a while as well. It looks to be a whole thing, so that looks fun. But, before we do that, let's just do this again. Because I got excited, so... Yeah, this way. I don't trust you. <laughs> oh my god! That was overkill. Again, I keep forgetting that when I have the staff on, I assume it just default- Like, that's a problem with me having that fucking- <laughs> You guys are explosive? Oh my god. It's a problem with me having the, uh staff on, because I automatically assume I've just got the, the curved sword. <laughs> Moonlight blade! Alright. Oh, uh, it was an accident! Okay. Aha! Nice, there's a ladder. I didn't mean to do that. Where are we? Oh, I didn't even see this. I didn't even see this. Nice, this was our way up. Earlier. There you go. Ha ha. Ha ha. Okay. There we go. I meant to jump up on there to survey my surroundings and not just fall down. Alright. Uh... There is an item on this one. Commoner's headband. Oh shit! <laughs> the commoner's headband. Where are you? That's finger maiden stuff. There you are. Headband that holds cloth in place. Standard wear for commoners of the lands between. Only there are no commoners remaining with their wits about them. <laughs> True. True. Uh, the pot helmet it calls to me. What the f- ah. Uh. Ooh, fancy headdress. This one's dressed fancy. Oh, flame whip! Holy shit! I am not prepared for this bullshit! Oh no, dude. Okay. Oh, I was so close! <laughs> oh, my health, dude. I was like, yeah, fight to the end. Fight to the end. Jesus. The amount of unique and cool weaponry <clears throat> we're starting to see it just keeps on surprising you. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. Where are we? We're we're pretty much back inside. Interesting. So we can go down that tower area as well. I'm not going to forget about that. Huh. Where are we in the 
What the fuck? Oh god, what the fuck is that? So, <laughs> I can see you guys are busy. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> I'll rain check on that room if you don't mind. I will return. <laughs> I have to do something about the complete lack of health that I have. Here, let me just fucking put myself in this real quick, dude, because it's better than this place. Holy shit. Alright, is it a good idea for us to try and navigate the... Uh, let's pull this back up. I'm gonna go rest at the Grace Point for lovely, lovely Godskin. And then... There's that room, and then also navigating the underneath tower area. I think I want to do that. This area is a is an experience. It is most certainly an experience. Okay, there we go. Back up. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> ah! hmm. White blood. <laughs> God damn, dude. I cannot get over the, the sheer variety. Oh no, to go this way I have to deal with that stupid snake. Okay. Ooh, excuse me. Um, ah! <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Uh, oh, I already had the lantern activated. Um, hold on. I think the drop is right here. There you go. Oh, <laughs> there's a ladder. <laughs> you don't have to drop at all. There's a ladder. Oh, God. What the fuck? Okay, we got more Albanorex. I love that there's a ladder. You know, you just just doing it. The, the way that this game and this whole series of games has always taught me to do. Drop down to really obscure ledges. The Albanorex live such a tragic existence. It's such a such a shame. Cause they're just they're just victims in this in this shit. The Albanorex are just unfortunate victims, it seems. Missionary's cookbook number six lying at the bottom of this tower. Holy proof dried liver. I think that I think that's it. Hmm. Okay. All that for a cookbook then? All that for a book of cooking? Yeah. Now we'll try and avoid this snake. Now we'll try and avoid this snake whip. See how that goes. I'm flashing my torch at you so you can't see what you can't see me. You're blinded by... You're blinded by torchlight. <laughs> Just got me. Pinched me. Okay. We're going through this door. Hello, Hello everyone. I have arrived. I'm here. 
What's this? Can I have this? I'll take it. Ah, man serpent ashes. Nice. Man Serpent Fragment, uh, Man Serpent Ashes in a sec. When I deal with our Poison Boys. Odd. Okay. Man Serpent Ashes, where are you at? Spirit of a deformed Man Serpent that wields the Whip of Magma. I was reading about your lore, please. Do you mind? Whips of Magma, it is said that long ago the Elder Serpent that dwelled on Mount Gelnir devoured a demigod and the birth of the Man Serpents followed. So this is the lore about like what was being spoken about that dude that said the Serpent ate Rikard. Serpent ate Rikard. So an Elder Serpent that dwelled on Mount Gelnir devoured Rikard and the birth of the Man Serpents followed. So I guess we'll be facing, when we face off against Rikard, we'll be facing off against a giant snake instead I'm scared of that thing I'm scared of that really don't know what that is so before I approach that let's go into the we need two we'll go into the stone sword key land what is this Oh shit, okay. We're going down. Ooh. <laughs> okay, how am I getting over that side? There's a platform with a door there. Oh, you, you fuck, you, you're kidding me, man. Okay, you bastard. Let's. Okay. You fucking shit. Get. <laughs> Get out of here. Who do you think this is, man? What do you think this is? Uh, I need to... <laughs> Stressful navigation. Stressful navigation. How do I get there? Is there going to be a lift that will take me up to those the platforms? Otherwise, what am I doing right now? Am I just dropping down to the ground from this point? I guess I'm just dropping down to the ground from this point. Seedbed Curse. Seedbed Curse. Curse grown on a body defiled by the Dung Eater. Holy shit, we have not had any mention of the Dung Eater since the opening cutscene of the game. Mr. Mr. Dung Eater. <laughs> we, it's, we have not heard 
about Mr. Dung for quite a while. Curse grown on a corpse killed and defiled by the dung eater, a tender pox afflicted with omen horns. Again, the omen horns. The dung eater cultivates the seedbed curse on corpses. By doing so, he prevents dead souls returning to the Erd tree, leaving them forever cursed. One of the most loathsome things found in all the lands between. The loathsome dung eater. Well, fucking there you go. Seedbed curse. So by doing by by shitting on people's dead bodies, he is preventing them from passing on. Royal Knights resolve Ash of War. Skill of the knights who once served the Elden Lord. Hold the flat of the armament to your face and pledge your resolve, greatly powering up your next attack. So I'm assuming that's Rykard there. Or is that Rykard? Actually, yeah, what the fuck? Who's who be? Dunno. Ooh, are we back in? Oh, we're back in. We're back in the manor. Where's this? You motherfucker. You motherfucker. <laughs> oh, that's this door to the entrance. You did go back. Ah, oh, I forgot to check this hallway. Ah, because that's where Tanith is. I forgot to check this hallway, you squatting motherfucker. There he is. The man who kicked us down the cliff. Bloodborne style. Well, you joined the manor, huh? I don't believe it. Didn't think you had it in you. And here I thought Raya was barking up the wrong tree. All good, though. We're on the same side now. We'll do good work together. Recusant patches. Recusant patches. And that makes sense now that... Uh, he's not marked on... He's not marked on the map. He's not... He's. Oh, no, there yeah, he is. I can't fucking read. There he is. Patches. Uh, he is there. Um, so he's a re recusant as well. And he mentioned... He spoke about Raya and Blackguard when it was um, about the necklace thing. Like, this is actually really interesting in hindsight. When we spoke to Patches at Scenic Isle after the fact, we'd already done... Raya's necklace stuff. He mentions it and he leads us toward there and he goes, oh, like, go and help out this girl, blah, blah, blah. And now it makes sense that it wasn't just giving us that, like, random advice. Like, it's also because he's tied to the Volcano Manor. Oh, and of course, we can do business, if you like. At his Emporium at the Volcano Manor. Especially for you. About Patches is a, di is a dialogue choice. He doesn't change his inventory, though. Are you surprised that I belong to the Volcano Manor? I always hated the gibberish about Lost Grace and the laughable Two Fingers. I thought I could lend a hand in unmasking the charade. Not to mention, Tanith has always made me curious. I guess her master must really be something, because she's pretty damn smug about it. Even after announcing her blasphemous ambitions, she still stands proud. I've never seen a woman quite like her. Interesting. I just, it's so funny how Patches literally just transcends games and universes. He's, he's, he's funny like that. He's funny. Good old Patches. Stingy little beggar. Try to find it in your heart next time, eh? Mate, you are lucky you are still alive. You are lucky you're still alive. Okay, so we've done a full... Let me check in with Raya real quick before I then decide to go back. I'll see if we can talk to her about the fact that we discovered a whole ass prison town. The serpent, it entered the room. Perhaps the man... If you discover... Oh, there we go. Yep. If you discover anything... Can you please share? There you go. Teller of the dark side. The dark side of the Volcano Manor. Yeah, so it's pretty fucked out there. Um, 
it's not just like a random hallway or a little room. It's it's kind of a whole torture land. Really? Oh, so there was a secret after all. Yeah. Oh my. It's pretty bad. Lady Tanith, my own mother, has deceived me. Adoptive mother. Was I not? Whom, by the grace of a king. No. Oh fuck! This is oh, this is what we do with it. Oh man. Okay. Hmm. What is this? I remember this sense distinctly. Hmm. Funny, isn't it? I am certain of it. I was born inside this. It's a part of my birth, mother. You have my gratitude. Thanks to you, I am no longer afraid. I want to know how I was born and met Lady Tanith. One day, I hope to call her mother once again. This time from the bottom of my heart. Hmm. Hmm. I want to know one day. Let's speak with Tanith. So that's what that is for all about. Picking up that little serpent thing. If you follow this heroic path, one day the Lord will see you. It cannot come at... Yep. Zariah's troubles. Now she told us, Tanith told us to look out for her. I don't know if this will go down too well, dude. She said that to you. I should have known something was wrong. The signs were clear enough. Well, Zarias has placed her trust in you. All the more reason I must tell you that some things are better left unknown. Besides, no one should be blamed for their heritage. Think about it. We are resisting the ways of the Erd Tree itself. What matters one's lineage in such a crisis? Mm. Zarias has placed her trust that some things. Mm. Okay then. Okay then. There's a lot of people in here, dude. There's a lot of people in here now. I totally forgot about this door, so as soon as we opened it and I saw that Patches was there, I thought we were in a new section of the manor. <laughs> Before realizing that it was, uh, the entrance. That was funny. I was almost like, did we go through all of this just to see that fuck? <laughs> uh, I don't know if there's a way up then, but there's items in this room, which is really bizarre. We've got this way. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is this. There's an item here. Yep, this is this iron virgin that was right here. That's our way back. Okay. Is there, is there anything else here? Fuck off, you fucker. Just seeing if there's anything else here before I jump down and stop and cease interactions. Alright, I think that's it. Okay. So there's an item there. And then this was our way back without having to go all the way back again. We can take the lift back up and then continue through that room. We'll check out what that weird bloated thing is. And then we still need to figure out how to get the items in, um, and to figure out how to get the items in the room. Somehow we need to navigate the room properly. So let's try that again because we're trying to be quite trying to be quite thorough with this area. I think what's insane and really impressive, like insane in a good way, is very impressive about what Elden Ring can do is this map is huge like as an understatement this map is fucking massive not even give like addressing the fact that we have an underground section multiple underground sections 
but the fact that this game is so expansive in its size and scale, but also on top of that, its verticality. That's the other thing that kills me about this in terms of the scale. It is mind blowing is like this tiny ass spot on the map, this small place houses so much because the verticality of these areas is really not to be underestimated. Like they, they have, it's one of those things where it's like when people look at big world maps, they're like, a lot of people, you know, they'll go like, oh, but how, how much of that is nothing? How much of that is empty space or fluff, you know, filling it all up? And a lot of games have that, you know, a lot of games have that copy paste scenario in their open world games where, you know, here's your patches of the same enemies or the same environments and all this stuff rinse and repeat to make the world map seem massive when it's just kind of a waste of time. This game gives you uh, specifically unique and focused areas uh, that fit parts of the lore and actually like all of the story and everything like that. Um, Leonia being like one of the biggest so far as massive and then Mount Gelmir being so tiny yet there being so much in there. Just very, very impressive what they can cram into all of these spaces because it's not only of, of, are they just, you know, having these points of interest that have a lot of cool stuff in it, but it's like, it's con it's consistent across the whole game world. Like, genuinely consistent across the whole game world is even in the open world, when you're in buildings, when you're in dungeons, when you're in catacombs, like... There's just so much. There's so much. Blows me away. It really does. Now. I'm going to check this side. I'm going to have a look at whatever the fuck this thing is. Okay, what is ha what is that? What is that? It's casting magic. I need to focus on it, so I want to kill these first. Okay. It's a snake, but it's wearing a balloon. Okay, is a snake wearing a balloon? Um, that casts magic with the stuff. Okay, well done. That's great. Sending gate. Fuck. Okay. Sending gate. Okay, before we do the sending gate, shit always gets real when there's a sending gate. Most of the time. Uh, I need to check this again. Now, I think that one way for us to do... I think we can jump down here. And that's one way. How do we get over there? To get that item, though. Let's try this. So... Let's... Okay, that answers that question. Okay. Ah, nice. Dagger talisman. The white-garbed field surgeons come to the aid of friend and foe alike by dealing a final deadly thrust to spare them from the prolonged agony of a mortal wound. A sense of mercy is a catalyst for bloodlust. Enhances critical hits, and it looks like this is going to be our way to the other item below it, because now we're on the other side. Uh, so I can jump down there. Nice. 
How did you get here yourself, man? You can't even get out of here because you got no legs. Uh, okay, a Runark. And then is there another? I think there was another one, maybe? Was there another one? No, I don't think there was. So it was just those. Yeah, alright, nothing else. Which means... Um, the fuck do I want to be? Where's Temple of Eagle? Is that the that's the Godskin's room, isn't it? That's where I want to be. This is where I want to be. Temple of Eagle. I didn't even read the name of it when we when we first went in there. Yeah, it is. And this is where we found the serpent thing. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, we'll go up this lift, then we'll go through the sending gate. I think, like, apart from one area that is standing out to me right now, which is, like, that area r directly underneath that bridge that we pulled up, where it looked like there was an item or something there. I can't figure out how to get there. Um, apart from that, we've done a pretty damn extensive search of um, the Volcano Manor. Like, we, we've done a lot. Pretty good. And now we're going to go to the Sending Gate and see where it takes us. And to see... See where the Sending Gate takes us. kind of want this big balloon is can is it a is it a drop can it can it drop as an item for me to to wield I would like your balloon hat please whoa I have not even tried this I just Tried to do a uh, tried to do a strong attack with this uh, with this weapon, and it just did some fucking cool shit. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. If I can just get an attack in, please. Let me get rid of this guy first. Okay. If I do a strong attack with this bad boy. Whoa! You mean to tell me I've been spoiling myself? I have been missing out on this. It does look like a blade forwards. Holy shit! Wow! And if I just do, if I just do one. This is just for free, dude! That just became one of my favorite weapons in the game immediately. I was already really enjoying it. The nebular ability was cool. Why didn't I... Why have I not tried a strong attack this whole time? That's so silly of me. That is mind-blowingly cool. That's fucking cool, dude. Just been rocking that weapon, not even using its full potential of magic blades. Uh, ooh, okay. Teleported to boss room. Just boss room. Audience pathway. Audience pathway. Hello? <gasps> what? Th 
this isn't Rykard, is it? This isn't the Elder Snake God. Is it? Whoa! Serpent Hunter. That was cool. What the fuck is going on? Serpent Hunter. Weapon that serves as both greatsword and spear, thought to have been used to hunt an immortal great serpent in the distant past. It manifests a long blade of light when facing such a creature. When their master's heroic aspirations degenerated into mere greed, his men searched for a weapon with which they might halt their lord. The unique skill is the Great Serpent Hunt. Perform a powerful lunge and follow up with an upward thrust via an additional input. When fighting a Great Serpent, a long blade of light will appear, revealing the armament's true power. I'm just supposed to... <laughs> is this... Is this a, the Great Serpent? Yo! It's one of the coolest areas I've seen. God, dude! Oh! <laughs> the God Devouring Serpent! It just ate me! I'm not a god! Get me out of your mouth! Get me out! Holy shit! This music! Oh, come on, I was dodging. Whoa. Oh, the fire. Holy shit! It doesn't even use that much FP! <laughs> it's not even- I haven't even upgraded it as well, like... Music. The music just keeps getting better! It cancels its attacks, dude! <laughs> oh my god! The God Devouring Serpent! Dead! This is insane! Oh no, no! Don't ruin my fun with poison breath! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> This is the most cinematic shit of all time, man! The most cinematic shit of all time! Back Beast! <laughs> There's more? Oh, dude, is Rykard gonna fucking just walk out because he got eaten by the god-eating serpent? Is he gonna just vomit up Rykard? Oh, he's... Oh, he merged with the snake! Dude, can the cutscene stop fucking freezing? Holy shit. 
It's ruining the moment. Oh my god, second phase. The Lord of Blasphemy. This is the coolest fucking shit I have seen in my entire existence on this planet. What the fuck? <laughs> this is the coolest shit I have ever seen. Oh, talk about a wind-up attack, dude. Come on. I was really... <laughs> no! Oh, my God. This fucking second phase. You gotta be kidding me, dude. Oh! <laughs> no, the fire is a, a constant stream of fire. Oh! The fucking music. The environment. The location. Back! Beast. Oh god, oh god, oh god, I'm scared, I'm scared! Oh! No, we can devour God together. Together! <laughs> now we can devour gods. <coughs> together. Sorry, I've been smoking down here all these years. All that lava is not good for the lungs. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> I can't believe what is happening right now. I cannot fucking believe this shit. What the fuck? Oh my god. Dude, I... I can't even stress enough that this just instantly became my favorite part of the whole game. That cutscene, I was waiting for the snake to just like vomit out Raikai and be like, oh, whew, I've been there for too long. Dude, I, it cannot be overstated that the cutscene of the, the reveal of his face being part of the snake and then that whole cutscene. Oh, dude, this is insane. Oh, nice. Oh, I don't know where the... Oh, okay. I don't know where the, the opening was. So I messed that up. I want to save my FP for second phase because I didn't expect a second phase. Silly me. If there's any fa fight that would have a second phase, it'll be this shit. That was close, man. <laughs> oh. Where's the opening for the attack? I, I don't know. Eh? Okay. Let's have a look at this second phase, dude. <laughs> we're watching this cutscene again, dude. We're watching this. We're watching this again. This is insane. Ah, <laughs> oh, the cutscene skipping, dude. That's pissing me off. How can the, like, I can't believe that the best cutscene in the game so far is getting, is, has to have skips in it. Bruh. Like, look at that visual. 
look at that, just as a visual. And he pulls his fucking sword out of the snake's throat. Oh, the body that just- the bodies that come out of the mouth as well. Oh my god. <laughs> the amount of detail in this shit right now. Ugh, join the Seventh King as family. <laughs> His voice is so good. Look at the design of this thing. It is mind-blowing. Look at this design! Oh my god, dude! Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh! I really hope I can still do those those missions after this. I really hope I can still do the um those missions for the for the mana. I feel like this might kind of sully the relationship with the whole mana a bit, though. Because I'm kind of fucking him up. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Dude! <laughs> okay, what are you doing? Oh yeah, you're doing this thing. You've got like... Whoa! Just the change of the sky. Oh, the snake! The snakehead coming in for a fucking cheeky bite. Dude, I was- I was so close. That dodge was so poorly timed. I have- I have no complaints, man. I have no complaints about redoing this fight. This is the- This is the most insane shit I have ever witnessed in my life. The fact that the- I think one of my favorite parts about this straight away- oh, I didn't pick up my runes last time, did I? Nah, too busy just being absolutely overwhelmed with whatever the fuck is happening right now. Uh, the fact that the game gives you a weapon to specifically use for this fight is just so fucking cool, man. <laughs> it's so fucking cool. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so where's the opening, right? I don't know- I don't know if there is one. It looks like because the head goes down on the ground, but that might just be opportunity for me to just get some hits in. Wow! Hello. I- I adore- I adore the mo the move set. I adore the move set of this boss. I'm in- I'm in just absolute, like, shock and awe that I can't even, like, think straight, man. <sighs> there has been some ridiculously good moments in this game, like peak FromSoft moments in this game. But this is the best so far. This is like the moment. <laughs> like, <laughs> how can you top this? How can you top this, dude? I don't- I don't see how you can. I don't see how you can top this, man. Alright, I'm- I'm making a mistake here. Uh. Just a- just a bit of fire there. Oh, I've- I've- uh...
man. This, I can't get over this music, man. Oh, I forgot to do this. That might be why. Damn, I wish this I wish this cutscene what didn't have random like skips. Ah, it's so annoying. This is a cinematic masterpiece of like a, a boss. Cutscene and a, and a second phase introduction. <laughs> oh, very well. There's rings on his fingers, man. <laughs> Man's blinged out. He's got so much jewelry on him. Join myself and King as family. Together we will devour the very god. Oh boy. I am so lucky to be alive at the same time as Elden Ring. down. Damn it! I knew the fire was gonna get me! I, I fucking saw the fire on the ground and I'm like, it's gonna cancel my fucking attack. And it did! Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> Flaming skull meteors! Giant snake! I'm dead again! <laughs> Fuck's sake! You got together! It ate me! Oh my god, if the killing blow. Holy shit, if the killing blow is where he eats you, you actually get swallowed. Oh my god. <laughs> this fight is like the gift that keeps on giving. There's so much shit in this fucking fight, dude. <laughs> he actually swallows you if you get killed by that move. That is insane. I seriously need to fucking finish this fight. <laughs> I'm gonna get you, buddy. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> oh! Gee. 
Jesus. Oh, no. Okay. Let me out, please. Thank you. He really pushes you back to the beginning of the boss room so easily. Let's go. Oh no. This is what happens when you skip a cutscene. The game knows. It says, fuck you. How dare you skip the best cutscene in the game. Get, get wrecked by all of his attacks consecutively. Exactly the same ones too. Oh my, fucking. Arrgh, flame floor. An eye circo. Uh, what is happening? Oh. <laughs> oh no. Not the. Not the. Oh god. 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 Yep. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I can't even see what the fuck is happening. <laughs> what the f dude? What the fuck is happening? I can't see shit. What is he doing? <laughs> what the? F I'm all out of juice, boys. This is it. Oh, oh I can't heal anymore. That's it. <laughs> oh my god, man. He was just putting that sword up into the sky. Oh, uh, what? Oh, god. Together. Killed by a random fucking flame volcano. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> Killed by a goddamn flame volcano tornado shit. Damn, dude. I didn't even... And this is, like... I think what's crazy about this weapon as well is that it is not even upgraded. That's the coolest part, is, like, it feels so much more legendary that way that you've, like, run into this arena. You've run into this arena with a god-devouring serpent just picked up a weapon off the ground and said, you know what, fuck it, this will do. This will be fine. This is all I need. This is all I require. Just keep it going. Keep doing those attacks. Yeah, you looking at me funny, aren't you, bud? Okay, that's how it should be in the first phase. <laughs> oh my god, man. Okay. Oh, there's a, there is a jumping attack as well. That's sick. <laughs> you know what? That jump attack's pretty good. We have the ability to enhance jump attacks as well, but we shouldn't need it. We're just gonna fucking hammer him, dude! That's right. <laughs> I 
I've never felt so powerful in my life. Like, in terms of, like, in a boss fight, I've just... It's never felt... Fuck off! I've never felt so more power, so much more power. Like, the sheer weight of this blade, like, just smacking it through him, just with the power of the winds. Uh, something that I keep getting killed by is that his second phase snake mouth attack. Um, where I usually don't take damage in first phase, I think there might be a difference in the damage it does in second phase because when it goes over my head, it damages me, but it didn't used to. It doesn't in first phase, but it does in second phase. I might just be crazy. I might just be imagining it, but I've gotten killed by that snake attack in second phase pretty consistently, but not by, um, but not by, uh, it in first phase. This is also one of the coolest boss arenas as well. Yeah, this one here. The fire is attack- the fire is hurting me. Yeah, that attack is what I'm talking about, when I'm not jumping into fire. And I keep dodging way too slowly on that first one as well. I keep dodging way too slowly on that first bite. Together we will join. So cool. What an iconic voice instantly, huh? Oh, that was close. Oh, the fire floor, man. Oh, you drag that one across the ground. That's right. Ah, we finally hit found that there is a range on that attack. He jumped back. That tension between who's going to get the attack off, me or him. I need to get away from the wall. What are you doing there, bud? Stop that. What are you doing there, bud? Summoning those flaming meteors, I see. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Get that shit away from me, dude! Get that shit away from me! No, oh, I get stuck. Hide behind the tower. <laughs> I have no. I don't even have stamina for, for this shit. Yeah, <laughs> I'm dead, man. I just see him slamming that shit down again. No. 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 No! No! I'm still alive. <laughs> Just by sheer force of no! Oh no. No. No! <laughs> oh, <laughs> Dude, he pushed me against the wall. Just kept fucking going, man. Freezing. Um, for God's sake.
<laughs> Am I supposed to stand a chance against that? <laughs> it's like, with the amount of damage that we do, that it's like, we should be able to do it, but obviously it's a massive drain on the stamina. We're actually using these rune arcs properly now for the first time. We're just finally, like, slamming them in. I'm like, fuck it. Increase the damage that I can do with this shit. Let's go. Keep fucking up that attack. God, that's going to be, in my opinion, probably the worst part about this fight is the lava, the constant lava pool, like, just, because obviously it interrupts all your damage, uh, interrupts your attacks, <clears throat> and stops you from being able to do anything. For the fucks! <laughs> I was being stupidly greedy. What happens now? <laughs> we both die. <laughs> I was being stupidly greedy. This fucking snake ass. This this snake ass. You know what I should be doing? Uh, what I should be doing is my wondrous physic flask. I should change it so it doesn't increase my intelligence, because I don't need it to in this fight, and I should have one of the stamina runes on instead. I should definitely have one of the stamina runes on. For some reason, I just didn't even think that he was going to do that attack. So that just took me by surprise. I just like, oh, he's coming right for me. <laughs> Thank you for spitting me out. Now, let me just drink my juice for a bit. Lava floor. Am I up against the... Shit. Oh, fuck. This is not how this is supposed to go, man. This is not how this is supposed to go, dude. Not how this is supposed to go, man. I've already thrown in the towel on this one, dude. I have thrown in the towel on this one. I've used too much healing items in the first phase. Why didn't you follow that attack up? That's weird. There you go. There you go. There you go. I'd thrown in the towel on that attempt. It was over before it even began. <laughs> that one was over before it even began. Holy crap. The excitement is still there. I still am absolutely just blown away by by this fight let me quickly do this wondrous physic thing because i literally just acknowledged it and i almost just ran back into the fight with my monkey brain uh wondrous physic so we're going to take off the intelligence right now stamina recovery speed is what i want to go for we want to increase our stamina recovery speed actually what even is this weapon dude it does have strength scaling so, increasing my strength by a little bit does definitely help. Otherwise, I would just go back to having my flask be the double stamina that it used to be. Like, total stamina and stamina speed. All these rune arcs be coming in handy now. Yeah, ba da ba do. -ba 
Wow, you're really starting with that? Okay. You're starting with that one, huh? You you really just starting with all of the, the big moves straight away? That's good. Start with the big ones. That's right. I'll just be over here recovering from that one. Ah, the lava floor every time. Too busy recovering from the attack that it won't even let me fucking dodge when he's coming in for that one. Oh no! It's one of those classic, like, my fingers moving before my brain and then I, exa I know exactly what the outcome of that is gonna be and it's I get fucking eaten by that stupid attack. <laughs> How many times we're gonna fall for that, Chief? Too many times! Too many times! I'm right up again! No! Ah! <laughs> He's in the wall, everybody! Oh man. <laughs> He's pushed me right up against the fucking boss wall. Where am I? Get me okay, thank you. Get me the fuck out of here. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Should have seen that coming. Here come the fucking meteor skulls! Here it comes, baby! <laughs> I have no stamina, no, no heals! I am but a simple man! Oh my god, we did it! Ugh. Fucking lava floor, get it out of here! Oh, not the delayed strike, man. Quickly! We did it! Holy shit! Oh, yes. Rykard's great ruin in remembrance of the blasphemous. Shit, dude. A serpent never dies. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit, dude. 
We just witnessed my favorite moment of the game so far. We just witnessed absolute history. This is from soft history. That deserves to go down in the books. That fight deserves to go down in the books as like one of the definitive, one of the definitive from software boss experiences from every level, from every level, from absolute sheer like scale setup, you know, like the, um, oh my God, just the set piece alone <laughs> just puts it right at the top dude <laughs> i have whoa man like, i'm just blown away by that shit dude i was just blown away by that shit let us um let us um have a look at the eye surcoat the insignia emblazoned on the front marks out the wearer as the eyes and ears of Sir Gideon the All-Knowing. Oh, dude. It marks out the wearer as the eyes and ears of Sir Gideon the All-Knowing. How do you think he knows all this shit, eh? How do you think he knows this shit? That's, a, that's pretty cool, actually. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's neat. That's interesting. Hang on a minute. Why is our... Oh no, I'm wearing the black hood. Never mind. Scratch that. Dude. I quite, I quite like that. That was cool. <laughs> oh shit, man. I am... I really like... Really blown away with that. That's crazy. <laughs> uh, do you guys think they'll still like us? Do you guys think Vol Volcano Manor will still like us? Oh, there's been some changes. There's been some changes here. Okay. The markers are still there for Vagram and for the Juno Hoslo. However, Raya is gone. Um... And Dialos is gone. I'm really curious to see how this is going to impact things. We've just slain Rykard. Even though he says the serpent never dies. Look at this weapon, man. The serpent hunter. Holy shit. Uh, quick, throw, the, throw away the evidence. Throw away the serpent hunter. We didn't do shit. <laughs> we didn't do shit. Uh, let's have a read of the Remembrance of the Blasphemous. Remembrance of Rykard, Lord of Blasphemy, hewn into the Erd Tree. The power of its namesake can be unlocked by the Finger Eater. Rykard took the form of a giant serpent that he might devour, grow, and live eternally. I understand. The road of Blasphemy is long and perilous. One cannot walk it unprepared to sin. So he took the form of the giant serpent so he could devour, grow, and live eternally. Oh, shit. Um, and then we got... Um, uh, Rykart's... Great Rune. Seek the Divine Tower of West Altus, which stands upon the precipice at the coast southwest of Lendel. So we have to go to the Divine Tower, which is uh, somewhere... It's west of the plateau, so it's like somewhere. It's, it's somewhere. We'll, we'll get there. Let's have a look and see if Volcano Volcano Manor hates us. Let's see. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. The Crucible Knight just like straight up goes to like knock you immediately. You... It's true, then. You've defeated our lord. No. I must thank you. Our lord was yet weak. You have taught us that. Defeat is not the end. 
Our Lord is immortal, and will one day rise again. Stronger. Until then, I must stay the path and do my part. Okay, so instead they've turned it into like, look, he's immortal. You've shown that he was weak in this moment, but you have, uh, yeah. Well done, sir. <laughs> so that's definitely Rikard, because that's the sword, all the hands of the dead and him. I will leave the Volcano Manor before long. I suggest you do the same. I will miss these encounters. The champion who walks the tainted path shines all the more. Hmm. I always was an admirer. You got a crush on me. This is farewell. Perhaps we will meet again along the path. Okay, so we can still do these things, but I don't know if we'll be able to check in with her for a reward because she's she said we might meet again, but she's going to be leaving. This is perhaps we along the path. Okay. Wow. Oh. And there's an item where that spirit was last time that was talking about Rikard being devoured by the serpent. My thanks. Wow. Wow. I, I really like the subtlety of stuff like that, where it's like literally like uh, an encounter with that, the person that was here, uh, and then you just get like this, you know. My thanks. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Crazy. So, you killed Rikard. I harbor you no ill will. The strong take. Such is our code. Even he was prepared to meet a wretched end when he first took blasphemy unto his very flesh. But any road, the Volcano Manor is no more. Though we may yet fulfill an old promise. We hunted our own kind and took what was theirs. And with everything in hand, the time has come to rise against the Erd Tree. Damn, so the Volcano Manor is going to be no more. Oh, greater will, hear my voice. I am the recusant Bernal, inheritor of my brother's will. And you will fall to my blade. We refuse to become your pawns. Consider this fair warning. Oh, great. I am the recusant. We refuse. Oh, my God. Dead. Um. <laughs> oh, man. Interesting. Okay. I wonder if, uh... I wonder if we would find Raya, like, maybe, like, in there somewhere. Like, she might have ventured ventured in. I don't know, but we have to find her again. Oh, man. Okay, so is Tanith going to be gone now? Yep. Rested there. With the Crucible Knight in tow. With the Crucible Knight in tow. Now this is my house. Is everyone, anyone still here? Just Patches. But Nal is gone too. It's just Patches that's left. Oh, cool. Oh, ha! You can learn the skills. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> you can learn the skills from the, from the Zweihander. Because <laughs> he's moved on. Oh, actually, does that mean... Oh, shit! No! Damn. We don't get to... We've missed out on that. I mean, like, to my, to my credit, I didn't expect or think that I was about to stumble into Rykard's house when I was going through that area. Genuinely, because I thought that we would be granted an audience by doing the these quest lines. So I thought we would have had to have waited until I did this, and then the other one. Damn, I am a bit upset about that. I did, obviously, obviously, I don't fucking, I don't know. <laughs> so that is, a, that is a bit of a pain. Oh, I just have to do that next time. I just have to do that next time, so. Unfortunately, Banal has moved on. We've missed our opportunity to to deal with that fight. That kind of sucks. Uh, but yeah, I expected to go through those missions and then be granted an audience. 
hence why I was just exploring the location that we stumbled into. So, you know, it, it is what it is. Yeah, this isn't a hundred percent run. Obviously, I'm going to miss a couple of quests and, and things that pop up, and that just what that's what makes New Game Plus so exciting. But fuck me. Now you've gone and killed Rikard. Yep. <laughs> you scheming little bastard. Not more scheming than you. You make this nonsense seem well <laughs> less nonsensical. Perhaps a tarnished will be Elden Lord after all. But for now, this manor is finished. The demigod beast is slain, and Tanith has lost her head. A fine mess. But how else could it end? When Daddy Ambition's head over heels courting Lady Blasphemy. <laughs> well, here I am, untethered once again. Goodbye, my friend. Hmm. What is it? <laughs> oh, come to make a parting donation to Patch's Emporium. Interesting. Try to find. Untethered once again. So now Patches is also going to move on. Wow. <laughs> That's going to bring this episode of Elden Ring to a close. Thank you so much for watching and joining me today for exploring <laughs> Volcano Manor and taking on Rikard, the Lord of Blasphemy. That was. That was. That was insane. That was, that was, that was fucking insane. <laughs> I don't even know what, to, what else to what else to say about that. It's just like that's crazy shit. That whole place. I'm. I got one of your armor pieces, man. Journey to the capital. The two things you may be up. Does he talk about? Praetor Rikard is the. He is a ruthless justicia who can the volcano Mount Gelm. It was the stage of the Rikard has committed the great. Mm. No, he doesn't say anything after we've, like, beaten them, but, yeah. Damn. Oh, that's, that is... that is crazy. We've got a new door opened in the round table hold. Who the fuck? We've got a new door opened in the round table hold, boy! I came here to offer a bell bearing that I clocked in my inventory, but that's... This is something else. This is a fight, isn't it? He's, he's red. Why is he sitting down? I can't... Oh my fucking god. This is the Dung Eater. What the hell? Dude, the Dung Eater. Uh, he's just in the round table hold? Have you ever felt the curse? With your whole being, the pox upon life itself, feared and despised by all, the reviled blessing. <laughs> Apparently not. You are but a lamb, a stranger to defilement, ignorant of your own ignorance. You no longer interest me. I've been long without peace. Don't spoil my quietude. We no longer interest you? Did we interest you before? I was wondering, I was literally about to say, I wonder if us picking up that item in Volcano Manor triggered this door opening. No. Wait. You have felt the curse. Yeah, I've got a thingy. And smell it on you. The box, yet tender. Apparently my seed bed is ripe and waiting. It was a brief respite, I must say. Go and unshackle my corporeal flesh, trapped in the sewer jail below the capital. Oh, you're not even here, really, because you're like, yeah, because I was like, this is going to be a fight. He's like an invader. His body is actually trapped. I can kill you. And defile your corpse. Ah, uh, no, thank you. And the pox will truly be your own. Ah, uh, no, no, thanks. I, 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 I prefer to be like not defiled. If I had a choice, I would probably say no. But unlocks the sewer jail door beneath Lane Dell. Filthy key received from the dung eater. Go and unshackle my corporeal flesh, trapped in the sewer jail below the capital. 
I can kill you, then the pot. No, okay. Uh, of course you'd be in a fucking sewer jail, you stinky cunt. So, like, what the fuck? <laughs> Dung Eater is, has been in the round table hold behind that door. <laughs> oh, I love that whenever I'm like, alright guys, I'm gonna bring this episode to a close, and then some random bullshit happens at the end. I came here to have a look at the weapons that we could get as well. That was gonna be how I was gonna quickly round this one out. <laughs> uh, so... The Blasphemous Blade. Secret Sword of Rikard, Lord of Blasphemy. Remains of the countless heroes he has devoured writhe upon the surface of this blade. Now they share the same blood bound together as family. Some HP is restored upon defeating an enemy. The Taker's Flames. Raise the Sacred Sword aloft to set it ablaze with Blasphemous Flames, then bring it down to fire off a forward blast. The Flames steal HP from those they touch. And Rikard's Rancor. The Terrible Power of Rikard, Lord of Blasphemy. Summon searing spirits that leave a trail of delayed explosions in their wake. These spirits manifest from the rancor of heroes who met a violent end. The Lord granted them an audience, whereupon they were welcomed by the maw of the Great Serpent, and within the Serpent's bowels they became the Lord's kin. Intelligence 40 and 18 faith. Okay. Great sword that requires 21 faith to wield. No more equi no more equipment. Okay. God damn. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Elden Ring. Next time, in episode 32, uh, we do have a plan in mind. Uh, we've got a couple of things with NPCs. We've got to figure out where Brother Corrin is for Gold Mask. We've got to figure out where... Um, Gura, the bloody finger hunter, has gone. He's uh, look, so, hunting Eleanor. I don't know where that is, but we've got to try and find him as well. Uh, the Volcano Manor crew have split up and gone their separate ways. We might find them in the world. We have to check out the Shaded Castle. So we're going to do more of uh, this area on the Altus Plateau uh, while also pushing towards Lane Dell. We've got a couple of things to do in Lane Dell, uh, which is really nice. So I guess we'll run up to this. We'll run up to that bad boy over there. Um, next time, and we'll explore the, the Erd Tree, where I've left a beacon as well. Two Erd Trees, in fact. And uh, continue on with more Elden Rings. Thank you so much for watching. Genuinely. So much fun. I just can't even believe it. I'm just going to go and process this information of that fight that we just did. And I will see you next time. <laughs>